If you're looking for an easy way out to grind and play NBA 2K19, hit up my guy Sports Gaming above. He has stacked NBA 2K19 accounts that come with high overalls, max badges, and rep rewards, and more, man. So hit up my guy Sports Gaming above. Make sure you type in his name correctly. He is the most trusted and reliable uh, badge grinding and account service. So hit up my guy Sports Gaming on Twitter, man. Let's get into the video. You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Poe Boy, sending the poll. Don't stand for Poe. We're gonna jump right into the smoke. We got a 91 overall pure rim protector and 97 overall play sharp. Um, I probably won't talk about this first game. I'll probably talk about the second game because the second game was better than the first game. But I did want to talk about something people always ask, you know what I'm saying, me to get my opinion on, which is um, if ISO, if you're able to ISO, does it mean you're better than somebody else? If you don't use ISO, does it mean um, you're not that good and then I want to talk about why people use double centers, why people use lockdown and post, why people use lockdown and stretch. So first off, we'll start off with the, you know what I'm saying, the ISO uh, versus stretch big talk. Um, if you're if you're a better player or not, if you isolate. Now, I will say, in my opinion, you are a good player. You're above average player if you're able to isolate. Now, I will say this as well. Not all isolation players are good behind screens. There's 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 literally, you know what I'm saying, ISO players that can isolate very well, but they're not good behind screens. But very few. We all know isolation players can be great behind screens. Um, the reason why a lot of people isolate is because it brings entertainment to the game for them. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the reasons why I isolate. I like to isolate versus using a screen. It's funner to me. I enjoy the game more that way. And pretty much majority of isolation place players, you know what I'm saying, isolate because they enjoy the game better that way. Now, another reason why people isolate is because it creates floor space, especially if you're playing with a shooter. Now, I done had people throughout my entire grind tell me I'm not that good because I'm isolating and running with a stretch big. So just because I'm running with a stretch big and you can't help off of my teammate, you know what I'm saying? To help your teammate because he can't guard isolation because he doesn't have 1v1 defense. That means I'm trash. That's a lie. If you can isolate, you are an above average player. You know what I'm saying? Depending on the efficiency of your isolation. You know what I'm saying? You have dribble guys, then you got ISO guys. Then you got people that can isolate. You feel me? You don't have to be a dribble guy to be an ISO guy, if that makes sense. You do not know how, have to know how to do crazy combos to isolate you feel me i'm a living proof of that you can go down my youtube channel you can watch some of my videos um i do not do crazy combos unless they are needed now that doesn't take away from isolation players that are dribble guys that like to combo up you know what i'm saying before they get their bucket but that's not how i like to isolate you know what i'm saying i like to get my bucket sometimes i won't even do nothing but three dribbles and get a bucket you know what i'm saying i like to win games i like to be efficient with my ISO. I like to get games over with. That's how I like to play the game. Other people that isolate, they like to do crazy things before they end their game. And that's cool too, you feel me? Some people play the game for different reasons. You guys gotta understand that. So, a lot of people don't care about isolating. You know what I'm saying? You could be a guy behind screens. That's cool too, you feel me? In my opinion, a comp player, it all comes down to the IQ and your stick skill, in my opinion. You, I've done said this before. You can get carried on the threes. You can look good on the threes playing with two of your good goaded teammates. But you can come to the twos and not be so good. You feel me? I was just saying this recently on stream. You can be a god on the twos and somebody could be a god on the twos and the threes. But it's a lot of people that are only good on the threes and they're not good on the twos because that's where two the, the, the twos court. That's where two K comp comes in. At. I don't care how much IQ you think you have. How much stick skill you think you have the tools is where 2k comp come in and i say 2k comp because on the tools the most exploits and the glitches you know what i'm saying that are in the game most bugs in the game happen on the tools court you feel me especially if you're guarding a iso player a true iso player on the tools court bro that's a scary thing and that's why a lot of people don't like to play tools a lot of people don't like to play tools because the shot creators behind screens but um you know what I'm saying? People play the game for different reasons. I won't say an isolation player is better than a stretch big or stretch big is better than an isolation player. You know what I'm saying? Until, um, you know what I'm saying, you guys 
flip, you know what I'm saying, vice versa, like the stretch big tries to ISO and the ISO player tries to play on the stretch big, you really can't say who's a better, in my eyes, a 2K player can play any position and be good. That's in my eyes, you know what I'm saying? If you can play any position and be good, then you're goaded in my eyes. And like I just said, comp comes down to IQ and stick stick skill, in my opinion. It don't come down to uh, cheese and exploits, you feel me? That's where you go to the tools court for to prove that. But another, and why people run double center lineups is because what's the point of trying to look good on a guard when you could run with two centers and win games, you know what I'm saying? That's how a lot of people that play this game, and in any game, you guys gotta remember there's meta in every single game. Every game, there's meta. So 2K meta is double center lineups, lockdown and post score, lockdown and stretch big, post post if you want to. That's 2K meta. What's the point of making the game harder for yourself going outside of meta when you could just run meta and win games in street? But that's why a lot of people don't get games and that's why a lot of people don't play park because people abuse meta and 2K. Just like how you guys had, cause I didn't play 2K park, but you guys had 2K15. What was it, 2K15, you guys had seven foot three demigods. I know there was a lot of people that didn't like that. And then I know when you guys were playing 2K15 back then, you say you, you say you want 2K15 back, but when you play in 2K15, I know you guys did not like the 7-3, you know what I'm saying, demigods. It's meta in every game and every, every in every single game, every year 2K comes out, somebody's gonna find a new meta to run. Just like in 2K17 uh, or 2K16, you can run two guards. You can run guards and win games against centers. There's always meta. And that's another reason why playmakers got nerfed because people cried about playmakers for two years so they got nerfed they got nerfed on badges they tried to nerf them on stamina but you really can never nerf a true isolation player now they tried to nerf stretch bigs to where you guys couldn't be seven foot three because we cried about stretch bigs the reason why post scores got a super buff and why lockdowns got a super buff is because we said they were non-existent on nba 2k18 so on 2k19 they tried to cater to the, the the audience of people that said lockdowns and post scores were ass they tried to give you guys a bump now they gave the post scores and the lockdowns a bump and now everybody's mad you feel me so we gotta think about what we asked for for future 2ks because it might hit us up in the long run you feel me now if you guys been paying attention to the footage in the background um the first game was all isolation between me and the uh, play sharp and this game is all isolation between me and the play sharp and on defense. Now, if you do want to see some good 1v1 isolation defense, watch me during this game right here that's playing right now. Um, my man's not the flash, even goes into takeover, and I was able to stick beautiful defense. Um, hopefully, I catch that part and don't over talk that part and um, catch it to really break down how I was sticking defense on him and shade inside. But if you do want to see some good isolation 1v1 defense, watch this game right now in the background while I'm speaking. But yeah, why would you run? Why would you even run with guards when you can run double center lineups and win games? That's why when pushing was going on, people were running three centers. Why run with why run with a guard when I could just push you out the way, have two other centers to get the rebound, you know what I'm saying, and win the game like that? So you guys got to understand, we always can't get mad at the people that play the game you got to be mad at the game itself you can't be mad at the player you feel me because people want to win games some people aren't good enough to isolate some people aren't good enough to play legit and win games so you have to use meta to win those games and you really can't knock nobody for doing that you feel me don't nobody want to play basketball and lose nobody wants to play basketball and lose nobody wants to get on 2k and lose so when it comes down to it i'm gonna do anything that i have to do to win a game you know what I'm saying? So I look good at the end of the game. You know, you feel me? I don't care if you respect me or not. I I, I just want to win the game. You feel me? And that's how most people that play 2K think. Now, when you have isolation players like me, Steezo, um, uh, Lamasta, if uh, Lamasta been mo isoing up most this year when he hit the park, um, uh, G Man, uh, it's a lot of isolation players. You feel me? And um, we pride ourselves on that. You know what I'm saying? So we make the game harder for ourselves because that's what we choose to do, you feel me? And in a sense, that doesn't make us 
uh, better. But like I already said, if you're able to isolate your above average player, in my opinion, you feel me? Because you don't you don't need that help on screen, you feel me? But not everybody make playmakers to where they're even able to isolate. And I will not say that every build can isolate. I, I won't encourage you to try and isolate on a pure sharp. I want to encourage you to try and isolate on any other build besides a playmaker. I'm not even going to go and say that you're not good because you can't ice on your stretch or you can't ice on your sharp. I'm not even going to go ahead and say that, you feel me? But let's check out this gameplay right now. Uh, you see your boy is already down 9-2. Uh, to two. Got the ball back. I'm going to knock it down for not the flash, though. You know what I'm saying? He'll play sharp and miss wide. I'm wide open, pure point, and I knocked that down, you feel me? Um, scores nine to five, your boy got five points. You know what I'm saying? I had to reset ball, try and break him down. Don't leave my man beast open, you know I'm gonna dot him up. You know what I'm saying? Scores now nine to eight, and this was some. This was a good ass game. You know what I'm saying? Games like this, I could appreciate playing 2K. I do not like playing against amateurs. I don't know why some of y'all even be thinking that, bro. I love comp games, you feel me? I just don't like when people use cheese and exploits during comp games, you feel me? Like, play straight up. Like, this was a straight up game, bro, and it was a good ass game, you feel me? You see me get the take in the lane, you know what I'm saying? I had no stamina, so I had to hit him with the high step and drive to the lane. Scores 10 to 9. Your boy got 7 points, 1 assist. Um,. Sometimes, like, when I'm really, really into the game, you feel me? I know isolation players be feeling like this, too. When I'm really into the game, give me the green light, shot it down in the comment section. I like to just force force inbound. Like, I don't even want to wait for my stretch to inbound cheese. I'll force inbound so I can really just go at it, you feel me? I know it's some of y'all that's like that, too. Like, you just really want the ball in your hands. Like, especially not the flash pulled up on me twice. So, I was... I was like, this game, really, I was like, he's not winning this game, you feel me? It's not sweet. Don't pull up on me twice, you did. But score is 13 to 9, you know what I'm saying? He's baiting me to shoot all game. I really hate when people do that, though. But that just comes from me not even being comfortable because I haven't been playing 2K lately like that as much as I was on my grind in 99. Or I would be just consistently just knocking that down. Now, like I already said in a recent video, when it comes down to me being baited, it just comes from being just rusty. But you can see not the flash goes into takeover right here. Like I said earlier, um, perfect defense. I'm just watching which hand he puts the ball in and I'm shading the other side. You feel me? Or I'm anticipating him driving on his ball handling side. I'm cutting off his drive side. Beast mode comes in and helps me on the drop down, gets the block. We get the ball back. And that was just beautiful beautiful 2k defense against a play sharp and takeover you feel me see didn't even have to do no crazy uh combos or dribbles right there i know my man is a smaller player than me i just used the triple threat go right by him for the easy dunk in the lane like i said he was trying to bait me bait me to shoot i bait both of them to drop down on me kick it out to my man beast mode for the dot scores 18 and 11 your boy just went into to terrell owens 12 points two assists two rebounds you feel me now gonna have to end the game off like this you dig but i think we i think we ended off the game a different way beast mode got an easy take in the lane yeah scores 20 to 11 and uh this was just a good game the first game was a good game but this second game was way better than the first game but um i hope you guys appreciate the commentary on this video um if you isolate that's great if you don't care about being an isolation player don't really care about it man if you playing to win games play to win games bro don't care about what anybody else got to say you feel me basketball is all about talking trash and people gonna talk trash regardless in this game of 2k man so hopefully you guys stay blessed up hope you guys appreciate the footage and i'm gonna catch up with y'all on the next one man y'all be easy i'm out one Keep an empty stomach here, grumble, she wasn't equipped, so I had to plummet. Also, sudden product of a struggle, overcame the stumble. Truth, I summoned, no mileage, didn't whip it.